everyone, after the latest balance patch there have been people advocating for a solo heal only druid. What they've gotten right is that yes druid can easily solo heal most encounters because our healing output is insane. What they've gotten wrong is that you don't need lingering light to achieve that. And you can give alacrity on druid even with its current duration. When it gets buffed on the 18th of July, it will be completely free. One thing that person missed is that quickness is very important. Just going to the golem and spamming one doesn't show how much alacrity you actually give. Make sure you have 100% boon duration, though you can upkeep alac even on 60% on hybrid druid. Make sure you have quickness on you. Spam one and see for yourself what the duration ends up being. But really, the real alacrity rotation should be CA4 and CA5, C2 during those, and you can already leave if you know you will charge your CA back easily. But if the damage pressure is lower and you have nothing to heal, you will want to stay in CA for longer and press a couple more CA once until your CA2 is ready again for the third time. But hey, I completely agree that a healer shouldn't have a strict rotation. If you want the rule of thumb to follow instead, whenever you enter CA, make sure you're actively casting skills and drain about half of it to be comfy on a luck. Remember that to generate CA, you need to be either healing people or dealing damage. It's important to spam your weapon skills for damage hits when you see that there is nothing to heal. If you're really struggling, you can also take damage on purpose yourself and heal yourself to generate more. Now for the build changes. If you were running my 100% boon duration builds already, either the Harrier variant or the Minstrel Giver mix, you don't have to change your gear this patch. I'm once again linking them in the description for those of you new to my videos. As for traits, you always run Marksmanship 3, 3, 2, unless you're pushing on a sage where you need to lead the wind. Nature magic is a bit more situational, but I would advise running 2, 3, 3 by default and swapping to Spirited Arrival if you're running Healing Spring. In Druid, you always bring Grace of the Land for Alacrity, Verdant Etching for Protection, and the first trait is situational. Top for Condi Cleanse, bottom for more CC, middle for more healing. As for your skills, you always bring Sun Spirit for Might, always bring Glyph of Stars as your elite, and the remaining slots are flexible, as long as you keep in mind that you want two sources of protection on them. That means you can bring Glyph Heal and Stone Spirit for Aegis, which gives you one completely flex utility skill slot, or you can bring Healing Spring for Condi Lands, and then you need two Glyphs here, or one Glyph and Stone. Of course, running three sources of prod, such as Glyph Hill, Stone for Aegis, and another Glyph, is also viable. If you don't want to think about your build, you can run Glyph Hill, Sun, Stone, Equality, Stars, by default, and feel free to swap your heal skill to Healing Spring for Condi Glance on Condi Heavy Fights. Remember to start every fight with Warhorn 5, Pet Swap, Sun Spirit, and entering C8 a bit for a bit to stack up initial alacrity. Contrary to the popular belief, you can still use your pet F2 for CC, you can still use stone whenever you need Aegis, and you can still use equality whenever you need stability or CC. The only thing to keep in mind is that if you don't need to use your pet F2 for anything, for example on bosses like Karen or Emma, you should still use them from time to time, not of cooldown, because Invigorating Bond has 20 second internal cooldown. But you don't need to keep track of it and press F2 exactly every 20 seconds. The same goes for the other, sk other skills. If you're bringing Stone Spirit on bosses where there isn't a clear mechanic to block, such as Gorseville Slums or Deimos Pizza, you can press it off cooldown for protection uptime. The current build rewards playing well, meaning that if you're entering CA often to heal people, you will have good alacrity uptime. If you're using your pet F2 for CC, your stone spirit for Aegis, your heal glyph to heal people, etc., you will have good prod and good regen. And my conclusion of this patch is, if you watched my previous druid guides and were already playing druid well, very little changes for you. Maybe stay in CA a bit longer now to make sure alacrity doesn't drop 
and we're a bit more flexible with our utility skills. People made a huge deal out of Druid being dead. They said it can't upkeep Alacrity. They said you should play heal only Druid. But trust me, take Grace of the Land, try playing Druid yourself, and you will see it's not true. And if you're struggling to generate CA, try asking to be the only healer because you can easily solo heal and give Alacrity on a lot of raid bosses.